Good morning, everybody. Right, okay, before I start with this video, I just wanna say a huge welcome to the extra 6,000 people that have subscribed this week, which is absolutely nuts. 6,000 people in one week is ridiculous. Um, I had a goal, a personal goal, of getting ourselves to 20K by the end of the year. Uh, and now, as of recording, we're like free off 17,000, which is mental. So I think we're gonna surpass 20,000 fairly soon. So uh, yeah, hopefully I can keep all you new subscribers entertained. Obviously you've seen us a lot from the E28 videos and the E21 video has just been filmed and a lot of you came over to that one as well. So I'm pleased about that. Hopefully I can keep you going for the rest of the videos and you enjoy the entertainment purposes of it. So uh, yeah, thank you very much to everyone. That's brilliant. Um, let's get on with the video. Just a quick one. If you watched the last E21 video, we had one more thing to do with the steering and well, there you go. Here's the steering coupling and steering column off the E21. Uh, as you can see on this one, we no longer have that in there and we have a different one, which if you can see there, it is a collapsible steering column, which a lot of cars do have nowadays because uh, when you're in a big crash, you don't want the steering column to go through into the car and the steering wheel smash you in the face, which is why uh, companies introduce collapsible ones. If you do get in a crash, it just shortens and it doesn't protrude into the car. So we've got a smaller one in there uh, off a different car. I'm not gonna tell you what the car is, but we basically made a mix match of this column and the other column. So yeah, it was a bit of a tricky situation. It wasn't worth filming. So I just thought I'd nip it in this video right now. So yeah, E21's done. Kids coming to get it today. Happy days. But obviously this video is on the Sierra. So I'm gonna get this on the ramp, get some new stuff put on it, and then hopefully we can get it running and driving before the weekend. Now, it's been a couple of weeks since I did any work on the Sierra. I actually haven't touched this car since we had the clutch problems in the last episode. But during that time, we've gained a lot more parts. We've got a collection on the bench that I'm gonna to fit today. We've obviously been waiting for the clutch that actually came from Italy. I don't know why I got it from Italy. I just purchased it on eBay. It was the only place that I could buy just the clutch disc alone. Now I didn't notice it was from Italy until it was already shipped. So that was my bad. But the good news is, is that our new clutch plate actually fits on the old clutch kit we'd already bought. So we didn't really waste too much money there. Got these pair of calipers from a gentleman called Harry. He actually sold me these and then instantly bought 10 tickets to the giveaway. So shout out to Harry. He actually gave me these dealership stickers, as you can see there, fraud owner club, brilliant stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you to Harry. We couldn't actually find a decent set of calipers to rebuild. So these were the next best thing in the time frame that we got. They work absolutely fine. He upgraded on his car. So yeah, these are good to go. We've got a new genuine clutch mechanism for the clutch pedal, which I'm not excited to replace, but well, what can I do? New temperature sensor, got that. Obviously we've got our discs and pads and stuff as well. And we do have an air filter and gasket to go onto our carp. So the first job for the day is to get the clutch in and get the gearbox back in. And before you ask, I did actually try the clutch plate on before I installed it. That last time was a bit of an amateur hour for me, I can't lie. That's the gearbox all sorted. That's all back in there. Uh, clutch fits, everything's all good. I just need to make sure the clutch works. So I need to put the new clutch pedal mechanism in the bottom of the dash. So I'm not gonna film that, I'm gonna do that off camera, get all the shifter in. We'll have round two, shall we? Just in case she was wondering how it was done. New mechanism on, old one is there. Um, basically, this is how I do it. I put a socket in there uh, and then basically you can just push that over the top, socket stays in there, you push the socket out as it's going in and then you put the clip on and that's the easiest way to do it. This is the bit that wears out, you see the teeth are like all rounded off there, that is this black bit in there uh, and that bites into these teeth on there, you just sort of see it there and that's what skips so that's where we're putting this in, put the new pedal on, bosh. My 
finger. Yeah. We have a new clutch pedal. And before anyone asks, there isn't a hole for this bolt in this hub. Back. I'm putting brake food in it for the very first time. Um, which quite literally means we are nearly finished. I uh, have got to bleed the brakes and put the wheels back on and I can go for a drive for the very first time. I've just done a lot of off camera stuff, just like here, there, everywhere, little bits and bobs, which are just horrible to film. And it's nearly ready. Like for the first time, it is officially nearly ready. Now it's about half eight at night now, so I'm not gonna drive it right now. I'm gonna put some brake fluid in it and let it drain. Well, let's say drain. Try and bleed itself out overnight. Get the air out of the system, undo the bleed nipples, etc., etc. Uh, and then come back in the morning and hopefully bleed the brakes and go on its first test drive. Successful one, I hope, because to be honest, I don't want to break down. I just want this to be smooth, plain sailing. But obviously, it's never going to happen because it's an old car and. No matter how many stuff you fix and replace, it's always going to bite you in the arse. And that one thing you didn't think would be a problem will be a problem. So yeah, I, uh, I can't wait to replace everything else that I haven't replaced already. That'll be fun. It's a cool feeling, isn't it? Like, I put all this new stuff in it, put all this effort into it. It's nearly ready to go back on the road for the first time. And all you lot get to enjoy it at the same time which I think is absolutely fantastic and I'm glad I've had the opportunity to do so. I think I have a problem with the T-piece because every single fitting on that T-piece is leaking and none of the other brake lines are leaking, so that's less than ideal. 
scrap that. There's nothing wrong with that two piece. All you have to do is just do the unions up before you try and be the brakes. So that helps a lot when that happens. Um, that being said, that isn't the only issue that I've got with the brake system. And I've got one brake issue, which one person commented on it and said, that's probably not gonna seal. And I was like, hmm, you might be right there. And he was right. And it was the one person that said it. And I think it's the case of just changing a seal. I've never actually done this, but I'm pretty sure that the brake master cylinder seal, where the master cylinder goes into the servo, is leaking and probably because it's never been changed i've taken the old master cylinder out put the new one in and the seal is just not sealing because it's really old that's what i think um so i'll show you the leak just under the master cylinder there i've got a little bit of a weep this is an odd one because i've literally never had this problem before on any car ever so it's completely new to me um, stay there. Try not to bend the brake. Yeah. If you look in here, that rubber seal obviously is leaking. So I'm gonna hazard a guess that that seal is you know, squished and not stealing basically i think it's one piece i think i found the right one on ebay mm, it's gay i'm gonna give it a clean up and put it back together and see if that works so the seal actually looks really good so i've cleaned everything up cleaned all of that in there which i should have done beforehand but obviously i didn't think it would be a problem Bring this measure now it's out and i can confirm what seal it actually is and Really, there's not much else it could be other than this seal. I, my theory is that this was like stuck to the old master cylinder. And as soon as I pulled the old master cylinder out, it sort of like dislodged this seal. And because it's rusty in there, uh, it's not sealed back again. So I've cleaned it up in there to give it half a chance, put it back in and fingers crossed it works. We'll see. Bone dry, not a drop on it. Absolutely perfect. Put like 200 stamps on that pedal, put some pressure behind it, and uh, yeah, it seems to have done the trick. And now I know to make sure it's clean in there. I've never even had that problem ever. So I thought, yeah, I'd be all right. I'd be all right. Change my after it before, it'd be fine. So that's another one to add to the robot. Every day is a school day. It's probably pretty basic to some people, but I've never, I've never come into that problem, so I've never. Never thought about it. Right, brakes bled by my apprentice. It's not gonna work today. You can't post that. <laughs> <laughs> can't miss, can I'm gonna drive it for the first time ever. Yeah. This is my time seeing this car drive for the first time. Oh look, he's so short. Bloody bloke. <laughs> it is very slow. When I put my foot down, I was impressed how slow it was.
Oh, that's such a good feeling. That is, that's been a long time. No, not really. So like three and a half months of working on it, ish. Got it in the end of November. Yeah, man. Got my reverse. Oh, he's found it. Let him off. Nice. It's lovely. I got a light out. So short, man. I'm not. I'm not that much shorter than you. I just have <laughs> short legs. I'm all torso. Far oh, short. Yeah. Really? No. Oh, I need to clean these belts. Yeah, I think. Oh. Look at the belt. It's so rusty. So I hope we film it off. That, that hasn't been. That hasn't been used in some time. Do, do I risk it? Oh God, they are. Yeah. <laughs> One sec. Wait, wait. Don't put it on. No, I don't trust your driving. <laughs> are good. Should we go left or right? Left. Horrendously slow. Speedo starts at like minus 20. It does. But see, we're doing at least 35 now. We're at 25. There's an excuse when you get pulled over. Look at this car, mate. There's nothing wrong with it. Apart from the speedo. Safe. Um, I've felt more unsafe. This is in life. There's no noises, no rattles. I mean, you haven't tried to press the brakes yet, so. Oh, they Oof. work. They bloody work. They yeah, lock right. it up, mate. That's unreal. It smells like a Santa Pod drift day yeah, now. Yeah, just lock the brakes up. Because <laughs> the brakes work. I mean, the steering wheel's not exactly straight, but we can fix that. Gears, oh, mate, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, it works. Got no horn. No, I did notice that earlier. Yeah, so, um, I changed the gear knob as well because I accidentally put a five speed gear knob on it and I didn't realize until I was watching the footage back that I put a five speed gear knob on it. Couple of rings around there. For your master to blow up again, no, and uh, you know, brakes are all good, brake feels really nice. I've got no radio. We're doing at least 50. <laughs> the speedo is under when it stops, it's like down here, it doesn't stop at 10, it just carries on going. I don't know how good this footage is going to be. <laughs> it's a bit bouncy. You couldn't be my filmer, man. Nah. One day I need a filmer, man, but not yet. Yeah. Well, the brakes do work, ready? Yeah.
Right, look, ready? Yeah. Done. Never raced or rallied. It was done. We're bone dry. Yeah, no, that was very close. <laughs> Dangerous. Too excited, mate, that's why. I want to trip over the exhaust. Well, first Ooh. short trip, success. Brakes good, no leaks, drives really, really nice. Just got to straighten the steering wheel out and then I'll obviously drive it some more, basically. There's not anything else that I need to do. This is finished as such. Yeah, so there you go. First drive under the belt. MOT is booked for Monday morning. Gonna film a video of doing that. And uh, yeah, just the whole of next week, I'm gonna get a lot more miles under this, make sure it's all good, iron out any creases if there is any. I'm pretty sure I've covered all aspects and all areas. Clean the seat belts because they're horrible and I've not cleaned them. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. This is this is a weird feeling for me. Like I've been doing projects for years, like many, many years I've been doing these projects and every single car that comes off the ramp or off the jack, wherever it was back in the day, they would always be on the floor. And this is the first car I put back to stock. It really don't half drive good once you finished it. <laughs> I'm just so happy that, you know, it's, it's done. It's like, not that it's a, I'm resenting it, but like, it's so cool to, the story has gone with it and it's just back on the road and it can go for many, many more years now. And you know, just happy. It's not even as if it's amazing spec. It's literally the bottom spec car. Like it's the, the one that nobody wanted, the one that got thrown away, the one that got bang raised, blah, blah, blah. And it's still here and it's fully complete. Battle scars, but a great story behind it. And one of you lot is actually gonna win it. So yeah, the tickets are still on sale. They will be on sale until the 16th, which is the day of the meet. Yeah, the meet is happening. Put the picture up here. That's gonna be on the 16th. It's in Northampton. If you've entered to be part of the giveaway, you don't have to attend. Uh, you, you can, because there's people from like Germany and Ireland that have all participated in the giveaway. And if they win it, it's up to them to come and get it. Uh, so that you don't have to be at the meet. The meet is happening regardless. It's just going to be a cool thing that we could announce it there in front of everyone. The event will be live streamed and the giveaway will be live streamed on Instagram. So Gresswells on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description as well. Obviously the tickets are still available, so that's in the description as well. It done very well, so I'm very happy everyone's participated. Anyone that has participated, thank you very much. It has been amazing. And then maybe we could do it again sometime with a different car. Uh, not quite sure yet, there's no plans in place, but maybe again, uh, we could do something cool. But uh, another thing, the meet, I've had a lot of messages saying, do I need to apply for it, blah, blah, blah. No, you don't. You can turn up on the day. It's free to enter. Everyone can show up. Just make sure you buy a beer from the from the bar and then everyone's happy. I mean, it's not mandatory, but please do. Uh, but yeah, look forward to, uh, I don't know, one or two more videos on the Sierra, really, because, uh, yeah, that's finished. It's not like we're the only project that's going on. We've got a lot of projects going on and it's only going to get crazier from here, I guess. So yeah, thank you to this Sierra. It's done wonders for me. I appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone that's followed on and watching it because it's put me in a better position for future videos and all that sort of stuff. And it's just exciting. The future is bright. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna rambling on now. A little loved here at the end here. Crying my little eyes out to the camera, ain't I? So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See ya.